open up so I can take him to Disney World. But check out the one at the top. That is a plaza, guys, a mall. A group of people got together and purchased a mall. So when I say start a business, I was talking about a brick and mortar, right? I was talking about one. They went and opened up a whole mall. So that is awesome. So that just goes to show you there is no cap. You can do as little or as much as you desire. But guess what, guys? Right now, tonight, you're going to see how those dreams can now become a reality. So guys, we often get asked, well, who started this group? How did it all get started? Well, honestly, we don't know who started the group. And I, would, I wouldn't even say that that's really important, not to me anyway, but we don't know who started the group. But I can tell you, we are a group of like-minded people. Now we do have a, a selective group that actually does the presentations like myself. You would see Latrice, you would see, uh, um, you would see, uh, Juan, I'm sorry, somebody mic is on again. You will see Tawan, you will see myself, you will see the trees, you will see uh Brittany. Brittany was the one who trained me. So every time she get on, I'm all like this with us. Presentation. You also have your people that actually step out with the boards. Like you have Desaya who does the board and does an excellent job on the board. Desire have trained to help her with the boards. And I tell you, when I say this girl never sleeps, she never sleeps, right? Because she's always doing the boards. And we have uh, Lachelle who helps out in all the areas. So guys, we volunteer to do this and give our time because we really want to see our family and friends and their family and friends blessed. So that is why we do what we do. So this is not a business, guys. So there is no CEOs. There is no bank. No one is going to hire you. No one is going to fire you. We are a group of like-minded individuals who have, who have come together to help each other financially. We all give the same and we all receive the same. So what that means is that no one can come in because they have a bigger pocket and buy and pay or gift more and receive a bigger gift. And no one is going to gift less and receive less, okay? We all give the same and we all receive the same. And I think that is really very important because it doesn't matter what your background is, doesn't matter what your educational level is. If you are gifting, you're going to get the same. If it doesn't matter if you're a high school drop off and you're going to get the same as someone who graduated from college, right? So that is awesome to know. You only have to give one time. And this I want you to hear, okay? From my mouth to your ears, no one holds your money. Okay, so if someone is inviting you in and say, give me your gift and I'm going to hold it until it's time for you to give, say, wait a minute. I was on that Zoom and this girl named Robbie said, no one holds my money, right? I want you to remember that. Do not give anyone your money because your money goes from your hand to the person you are gifting and there is no middleman. So remember I told you that. We all share with two people that we trust 100%. And you might say, what do you mean? Why do we got to trust them? Well, I'm going to tell you why a little bit later. But remember I said someone you trust 100%. And remember, the blessing is a monetary gift. So while we're going through this, guys, I want you to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind for several dif different reasons. Mainly because this is something that is not common. Is this not something of the norm? So when you're talking to people about it, the first thing they're going to say is, what is that? I've never heard of it, right? When it's something that someone is not used to, they find a reason to shut it down without understanding what it is. Even if someone do that, guys, keep an open mind and just move on to the next person. Remember, no scam, does not scam, mean no. Sometimes scam. no mean I don't understand what you're talking about. Sometimes no mean I need a little bit more information. Sometimes no mean just not right now. So don't X them out, but move on to the next person. So always keep an open mind. In the beginning, when we're talking about this, I know a lot of people are thinking about, let's see, my sister, my brother, my cousin, my uncle, and we stop with our inner circle. When I say keep an open mind, you might have to go outside of that circle and start talking to co-workers and people who you went to church with. So keep an open mind and expand your list when it comes to this, okay? 
So organized gifting, what is that? What is it, guys? It is not anything new. It is an old idea, but Pyramid it's a scheme. big it's idea. Called. It has been successful in India, Asia, Latin America, Africa. All of these cultures have adopted this way of gifting. The reason why it is so foreign to us because we have not done it. We have not come together and start an organized gifting program. So now you are a part of an organized gifting program. And this is something that, uh, because I didn't know much about it myself and until I actually got into this group, and when this letter right here was read to us, I was, it, I really kind of was blown away because this is a rapper named Slim Thug. He actually posted this on his social media page. And one of our presenters saw this and said, you know what, let's include this in our presentation because honestly, a lot of people are a little confused about what it is that we're doing. And a lot of people think what we're doing, it can't be right because they never heard of it before. So when she read this, she said, you know what, this is exactly what we do. Do. So guys, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I'm going to read the highlights and you can read along with me. But Slam Thug actually went to this Asian beauty supply owner and asked her, how do you guys get loans to open up businesses throughout our community? Well, she told him, we do a money passing rotation where a group of us of 10 or, or 20 put together in a pool an average of $10,000 each. She said every six months or so, each person get about $100,000 out of the pot to start a business in a, in a community. They put back in the pot when the business is established. So guys, imagine wanting to start a business, right? A lot of us don't have a father or mother or a sister or a brother who can just give us a $100,000 check. A lot of us can't go to the bank and get a $100,000 loan, right? So a lot of times we have all of these dreams and hopes and ambitions that dies with us because we don't have the means to do the things that we really want to do. Well, look at these people. They had the same problem, but they fixed it with a solution. They say, let's get together put our money together one at a time will start their business. When they get established, the next one will start a business. Guys, that is what we are doing with our community. We putting together on a smaller scale and one at a time is being gifted. So guys, when I say you can start dreaming again, you can actually start dreaming again because now you're going to see how your dreams can really, really become a reality, right? So guys, how do your journey get started? Easily, okay? Let me say that. Your journey is going to start, your journey actually have already started. You ever heard when somebody say your first impression is your, is your main impression? Well, that's the same way it is here. When you join, when you got on this call tonight, guess what? Your journey has started. Now it's up to you how much further your journey go. Because when you join us tonight, you are considered a spark. A spark is someone who um, uh, attention was was sparked by one of our people that's in our group, right? So they told you about what we're doing. They gave you a little bit just to spark your attention, enough for you to say, hmm, let me find out a little bit more about what it is that you guys are doing. So with that, you're on the call. So again, welcome, and we're happy to have you here. So if you are a spark tonight, all we want you to do is take a listen to what it is that we're doing and make a decision if this is a fit for you, okay? Once you say, yes, this is something I want to do, I see how this can bless me and my family, you're going to move from being a spark to taking a place on a board as a fire. Everyone goes through the whole process the same way. If anything that I said before this point you forgot, it's okay. This is the part that you really want to pay attention to, right? Because this is probably the most important part and the part that most people have the most trouble understanding. So I'm going to talk a little slow, not because I don't think you, you have problem understanding. I just want to make sure that it's clear what it is that I'm saying so everyone can kind of grasp what it is when you're placed on the board and your journey through getting to the gift, okay? 
as a spark, you're doing what you should be doing. Once you say yes, you're going to get on the board. This diagram right here where you see the fire, wind, earth, and water is what we call a board. You're going to hear many people say, where are you on the board? What place are you on the board? What they're asking you is if you are a fire, which is the red, and it looks like fire. If you on wind, which is blue, and it kind of look like the, the earth, which is, I'm sorry, kind of like the wind, which the next one is earth, and the next one is water. So depending where you are on the board, if somebody say, where are you on the board? You can say, I'm on wind, or I'm on fire, or I'm on earth, or I'm in the water. That's how you know what position you have. Every position, there is a commitment, okay? When you take a spot on the board as a fire, your commitment is, I'm committing to give a one-time gift voluntarily to the person who is in water, okay? That's, it, that's your commitment that you're, you're committing to. Now, you might say, how soon do I have to give my, my commitment? It depends. The person who, got, who brought you on the, on the Zoom is going to let you know where, what position on the fire board, I mean, on the board you'll be taking. You could be fire number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight spots. We don't know where you're going to be because every board is different. Some people already have six fires, only need two more. Some have two, need six. So it depends on that person's board what position you're going to take. Once you become, uh, once you have a position on the fire, everyone, every time this board closed, and what we call a closed board, remember I said there's eight spots to fill on the fire. Once all eight spots are filled, the board is what we consider closed. That means no one else can get on this board, right? So that board is closed. Once the board is closed, it does what we call a split. When a board splits, that means half of the board is going to create a whole new board. The other half is going to create another board. When that happens, everyone on that board goes in okay so if you was on fire you're going to go to the wind position once this board splits again it's going to create two new boards when that board splits it's going to go in you're going to go from wind to earth when that board splits again it's going to create two new boards it's going to go inward you're going to leave the earth putting putting you in water Water is the position where you are gifted. So remember when I said when you make your commitment to be a fire, you're going to give a one-time gift to the person in water. When you're in water and when all eight fires are filled, all eight of them is making a one-time commitment to give you a one-time gift because you are the person in water. Okay, so let's look at this and with names, okay? This is an extra board, and this is how a extra board looks, okay? Susan is the person in water. So she is the person who is going to be receiving the gift. If you look at the fire, that's the red outer circle. You have Michael, Jan, Rita, Helen, Connie, Christy, Stella, and Gail. They all made a commitment after getting on a Zoom as a spark and took a position as a fire. They made a decision to give a one-time gift to the person in water, who is Susan, right? Once they do that, what did we just say? The board is considered what? Closed. If the board is closed, that means no one else can get on. That board is now going to split in half. The way it splits in half, if you look at this thick white line, you will see a top portion of the board. If you look below, that's the bottom portion of the board. So when it splits in half, it's going to make two new circles. When you make the new circles, I want you to look at Carlos, who is on Earth. Remember I said everybody goes in, right? Carlos is on Earth. On the new board, look where Carlos is. He's in water. He's in the gifting position, right? 
If you look at the one below, you see Delaney is on earth. If you look below, Delaney is now in water. She's in the gifting position. These two boards are considered open. Why? Because the boards still have eight fire positions to be filled. Once all eight is filled, then it's considered closed. Now I know the question is, well, how do you get fires on the board? The same way you was invited to a Zoom, you became a spark. The people who invited you will place you on the board as a fire. So guess what, Gail, Michael, Rita, and Jan, Stella, Christy, Helen, and Connie is doing. They inviting people to the Zoom, right? Because after the Zoom, they're going to fill the board with people like you who said, yes, I am ready to join. They're going to fill it. And guess what? These fire spots is now going to have your name, their other friends, and their family. And it is going to close the board. So everyone has a responsibility. As a fire, your responsibility is to give a one-time gift to the person who is in water. When you on earth, you are now looking to fill two spots with new fires. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. When you in water, all you're ready to do is receive your gift. What I love about this process, guys, we all take the same journey. So if Carlos is in the water, trust me, he started as a spark to a fire, to wind, to earth, and now he's in water. So be happy for those in water because their journey was the same as yours. So guys, with that being said, I have two people that um, I want to call that is going to be gracious enough to give a testimony for us this evening. So let me see if they are on the call. I am going to unmute Bonnie. Bonnie, I'm going to, I'm ready to unmute you. Make sure your line is unmuted. And I am going to give you an opportunity to give a testimony. Were you able to unmute your call, unmute your line? If you didn't, try it now. Hit your unmute button. Bunny going once, Bunny going twice. If you're having a hard time, I'm gonna have to move on. Let's see if my, I see you on there, but I don't think you can unmute yourself. Let's try. Jocelyn, are you on? Yes, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Thank you so much, guys. Let me let you guys know, Jocelyn is very shy. And I know she's <laughs> like mad that I'm saying this, but I told her, you know what, you have a remarkable story and I want people to hear it. So she, she said, yes, I will give my testimony. So thank you, Jocelyn. The floor is yours. No problem, Miss Robbie. <laughs> so uh, Miss Robbie actually invited my mom, Ruby, and she called me. I really didn't even need to hear the presentation, but I had to watch the presentation. So I came in, my fiance came in, his mom came in, my brother and sister came in. We didn't brought almost our whole family. I got gifted on July 3rd. My birthday was July 8th. And then my fiance got gifted a couple of days later. So this has been a blessing for us and our family. We've been paying off some bills. We had to postpone our wedding because of COVID. So now this will help, you know, pay some stuff off for that. So if you're thinking about it, it's definitely, you know, a good thing. It can help you, your family members, your friends, you know, just do what you need to do to get to the water and you'll be blessed. See, Jocelyn, I told you that was going to be painless. You did excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. Guys, like she said, Jocelyn actually closed her board on her birthday. That was an excellent birthday gift. So imagine closing your board on your birthday and then your fiance closing his board a couple of days later. That I don't know about you guys, but I get more excited when someone who I invited or someone who is an extension of someone who I invited get gifted. That means more to me than me getting gifted myself because someone, when someone trusts you, you can't wait for them to see that the process really works. So kudos to you. And I'm so happy for you and David. I cannot wait for the wedding. I don't care if I have to see it on a, on a 
do a Zoom. I can't wait. So anyway, thank you so much for sharing with us tonight, Jocelyn. So guys, back to the presentation, gifting celebration. This is something that before COVID-19, you know what? I think in the next few years, we're going to say that a lot, right? Before COVID-19, we used to. Well, before COVID-19, we used to come together and have a celebration, right? Because getting gifted is something to celebrate. So we used to, whoever was in water, remember the person in water is the person who's in gifted. They will pick a restaurant of their choice. So they can pick Red Lobster, or they can pick 54th Street, or they can pick uh, Applebee's, wherever they wanted to meet at, they would say, you know what, this is where I would love to have my celebration. So all of the eight fires will come to that location and give a gift to the person in water. Isn't that neat? Isn't that awesome? They will give a one-time gift to the person in water and that person will receive all of their gifts at that celebration. So you can see some of the celebrations going on right here. Well, since COVID-19, we, with all the restaurants closing, we wasn't able to do that. So we had to come up with other means of receiving gifts. So we started using things like Zelle and Venmo and Walmart to Walmart, right? So we started using things like that and it works as well, but it kind of take away a little bit of that personal touch away. You know, you like to kind of go out and, and actually see a person reaction when they get gifted. But fear not, we came up with another solution for the gifting celebration. Every second Sunday of the month, we do a live celebration for everyone. As a matter of fact, this Sunday, and you all are welcome to be our guests. We are going to have a live celebration for anyone who received a gift in the month of June and July. So we still are going to celebrate. It's not as personal as that, but we still have a lot of fun. So guys, come on, celebrate with us. It's a lot of fun. You will really enjoy it. But there's nothing better, no better evidence than to see other people being gifted. Because you know what? Many of you do not know me. You see my face, you don't know me. So you don't know if you can trust me or not, but whoever invited you, you know you can trust them, right? But when you start seeing many people at the people at the people being gifted, you know there gotta be something true about what we're saying, right? So now we all get together. Well, we don't get together like we used to. So we just give the gift through, like I say, either uh, Venmo, Walmart to Walmart, Zelle, or you can still give a cash app if you're local and you pretty much know the person, you feel comfortable. You can still receive a cash or a, a, a monetary gift if you want to. So back then, that's what we was doing. Now we do it a little different. So these are some of my beautiful friends. And I'm going to have to give my money shot, right? I have money and I have not taken my shot. I got to give my money shot. But these are some of the people who's in the group who have gave their money shots because we want you guys to see, hey, we are real people. Some of you might look at this board and say, hey, I know her. I know this person because these are real people. But guess what? You will not, and I repeat, will, will not see these type of pictures on social media not ever because we do not do social media. Okay. So these shots was really for you guys. So you can see we are real people getting real blessings. I know most of them on here. I don't know everybody. I know Lachelle. I know Miss uh, Lady Gwen. I know Latrice, her husband. I know Tawan. So you know what? And Brittany. And it's funny because when I first joined, the only person I knew was Lady Gwen and Latrice. But like I said, we celebrate together and we become a close knit community. Now, almost everyone on this board I know, and I, I have such great relationships with them. So guys, when I say this is a blessing, not just the monetary part of it, but the relationships that you build by being a part of this community. So guys, how much is the blessing, the gift? The gift is $1,400, $1,400. But do not get excited over that, okay? Do not let that scare you. Remember, you only have to give that one time. 
one time you are blessing someone. No one holds your money. If you guys remember, success leaves clues, right? Success leaves clues. This was said not one time, but two times so far. No one holds your money until it is your time to gift. And the reason why we want you to understand that, guys, is because that is what keep us being um, legal and keep us from being a scam. No one touches your money but you and the person you are giving a gift to. If you're giving your money to someone else, that is not our program. So if somebody said, give me your money and I'm hold it for you, that is not the program that we do. No one holds your money. Remember, everyone gives and receives the same. So the gift is $1,400. So I know the question is, how much do I receive when I'm in water and it is my time to get my blessing? Well, let's do the math. Eight fires is going to bring you a one-time gift of $1,400. And we said in $100 bills, that's when we was meeting in person. Still, if you're going to meet with someone and give them cash as their gift, still try to do it in $100 bills, okay? Only because it make it e easier and faster to count than trying to count a lot of 20s. So if A Fires is, is giving you $1,400, dun, 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 that's $11,200. You going to walk away after your board closed with $11,000. So I know what a lot of you guys are saying, calm down. You saying, Robbie, it says 11,200. Why are you saying I'm walking away with 11,000? Guys, everyone gifts the admin $200. I know a lot of you are saying, well, why do I have to give them $200? If you had any idea what we do for this team, you will probably give us a gift on top of the 200, trust me. But guys, we do so much on your behalf. And we're, you know, we don't, honestly, since I really start helping out more on the admin side, I really don't have time to actually get on a board anymore. So I have sacrificed me receiving a gift to make sure you guys receive a gift. So it's almost like you're saying, thanks for your sacrifice. So 200 is gifted to Edmund, and the rest is yours to do whatever you please. So what are some of the options if you do not have $1,400 in your back pocket? Don't feel bad because a lot of us didn't have it. But when there's a will, there's a way. You just get resourceful, right? Some of us are blessed to have it. Kudos to you guys. But some of us was really affected by COVID-19. Some of us have been laid off our jobs. Some of us was on this call because someone thought enough about you and knew that this financial blessing can help you and your family. So you might not have $1,400. It's okay. Some people have taken it out of different checking accounts or out of their savings account. I know that I read recently that if you borrow money from your 401k because of COVID-19, they are not charge you any, any penalties. Check with your human resource department, but I'm 98% sure that that is the case. So that money that is just sitting there, you can actually borrow against it and, and uh, gift your way into our program, right? And then when you get your $11,000 back, you can put that money back and some if you want to. Or some people have borrowed it from family and friends. Don't be too prideful to ask family and friends for help because you can borrow the 14 from them. When you get your blessing, give them a little extra to show them how much you appreciate them trusting you with that type of money. And some people have just sold stuff. You know, there's a lot of things you have in your home that you're not using that you can actually sell and get the 14, get the 11,000 gift and then go out and rebuy it, but buy a better one, right? So guys, get resourceful because when there's something that you want to do, we will find a way. I don't care what it is. If we want it bad enough, we will find a way. So we often get asked, is this one of those pyramid things, right? And trust me, after becoming a spark tonight and uh, becoming a fire tonight, you will be asked, is this a pyramid? Don't yes. get offensive. Don't feel like, you know, there's someone, how dare you to ask me that? I don't do those things. 
first, let me say, there's nothing wrong with pyramids. The whole world is structured like a pyramid. There's nothing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, I made the bulk of my income in my lifetime doing some type of network marketing, which is shaped like a pyramid. So when people say this is one of those pyramid things or pyramid schemes, I know that they don't quite get it, but I don't let that offend me. But let me take this a little step further. This is not even structured like a pyramid, right? <laughs> those other companies that I got involved with, like network marketing, that I made lots sure of money in, and I'm life. very proud to say it. But the difference between that and this, I had to constantly recruit, recruit. The people I brought in had to recruit, recruit. Not just two, but we had to constantly recruit. And the more people we recruit, the more money I will make. I will make commission, I will make bonuses, whatever the case would be, I would get paid off of other people joining the company. And it would actually cause me to go higher in the company, meaning that I would get a bigger spread. That's why it was called a pyramid because I was going up, the people who was coming in was at the bottom. Not to say that they couldn't come up, but they was at the bottom, I was at the top. This is not that, okay? This is nothing like that because now I only have to tell two people, I do not have to constantly recruit. Those two people that I invite, I do not receive an income or a commission or anything when they join. All I receive is a thank you for inviting me, right? And for me, that's payment enough. But that's all I get. So I'm not getting anything when someone joins. Someone joins the board, you do not receive a thing unless you are the person in water, then they will be gifting you. The other thing that makes this different in all of those other companies that I was seeing, and I tell you, and I'll be honest with you, the one thing that was more, that won't say hurtful because when you're making money, you're not hurting, but the one thing was just a little bit more uh, that I didn't like about it, I'll say that, is that I will bring people in and tell them what they can do, but I will be making a nice income, right? but they was not making up as much as I was making and vice versa. The person who brought me in was making way more than I was making. Right. That's normally how pyramids or network marketing is built. The person who bring you in actually make a little bit more than you with this program, guys, when I got gifted, I got $11,000. When Miss Ruby got gifted, she got $11,000. When her daughter Jocelyn, who you got just hair from, got gifted, it was $11,000. When her fiance got gifted, it was $11,000. So guys, they didn't come in uh, gifting less and they did not receive less. That is why I love this because there's nothing wrong with pyramids, but no. This is not a pyramid. So guys, we know that documentation beats conversation all the time. I need to update my board. It's not uh, no one's fault but my own because Brittany sent over the new financials and I forgot to update my board. So I apologize. But guys, we started keeping financials back in 2000 and 2008, 2018. Our uh, community started in 2016 and 2018. They said, you know what? And I think it was Susan, if you notice, her name is first. I think it was Susan who came up with the bright idea, the, a great idea, I mean, to say, we need to start showing the gifts and the blessing that is going through our community. Guys, because I can sit here all night and tell you it's working. But again, documentation beats conversation all day long. So if you look at this board, you will see, and this is way, my God, I must really, my, I, I apologize, my power was off today. And I, when I, everything came back on, I think I grabbed the wrong presentation. Now this board go all the way back to June, we are in July. This is way off, but let me tell you how much we have actually, um, blessed through all our community, how much money have actually circulated with just a group of people like-minded who cares about each other, who just went out telling us to family and friends, how much we actually have uh, spread throughout our community. 
right now and i could be wrong this, this even this figure might be off and Brittany, if you're on here you can text me and let me know but the last that i seen i think it was 7.2 million dollars evidence of the scam guys i don't know about you but that does something for me when i hear that because all of these other cultures that i was telling you about come together and they it put in a pot of ten thousand dollars each and one at a time take out a hundred thousand dollars and start a business guys with our small community of less than four thousand people we have circulated over 7.2 million dollars that is not me talking that is for real documentation so the question is not can you do it will you do it the question is how much of the ne the next million that will be circulated do you want to be in your household that's the for real question so guys how do i join and be gifted is the main question right because no matter what i'm talking about the question should always be what's in it for me guys oh, all we God. need from you tonight is your commitment is saying i'm in you give us a commitment we're going to give you our commitment to make sure that we do what we say we're going to do so you make a commitment to come in once you're on a board remember i showed you the boards earlier once you're on a board and take a spot as a fire the person who invited you is going to invite you in telegram now telegram is the heart of our community that's where you get all of your information because again we are not on social media let me repeat that guys we are not on social media at all and the reason i want to say this and i want everyone to hear it just like i wanted you guys to hear no one holds your money i want you to hear this from my lips to your ears we do not do social media we do not post pictures on social media you know we do not um, try to recruit people from social media we do not say anything about what we do on social media we don't hold up cash and say come and get this money on social media and listen to what i'm saying if you're caught doing that and we have had other people who were your friends and you didn't know it and screenshot what you did there has been people who have been taken out of the community guys we are here to protect each other we are here so that this thing is around for a long time i want my grandson college tuition to be paid through this so when we say no social media we are very very serious about that so if you see someone doing it we're not going to say where it came from report it because those are the type of people who can get all of us in a position that we don't want to be in because we yeah, are because private we want illegal. to remain private if you those other opportunities that i told you not opportunity but those other cultures that i told you about that actually has been doing this for centuries the reason why you don't know about it you would never see them on social media flashing money you would never see them saying come and get this money you would never see those type of uh posts on no type of social media because they're private and that's why they're able to continue so again no social media okay when you join telegram I want you to put your name and your uh picture so we know who you are your name should be your name that is on your legal name and that name should be the same name that you put on the board in the past we was we were allowing people to use nicknames but we have gotten away from that so when you join make sure you put in a, your picture your real name because your real name will be on the board we should be able to see the board go to telegram type in that name and that picture should be of you so that's how you do telegram telegram again is where you get all your information that's where you where you get the link for all of the um the zooms that we have zooms is every sunday at 6 p.m central standard time i know a lot of you guys send it out and some people think that's eastern time and they get on a little early but guys there's central standard time so it's seven o'clock eastern time standard time and on wednesday at 7 p.m central standard time eight o'clock eastern standard time many times we might throw an extra zoom in there sometimes latrice might say you know what 
I'm going to do a special zone. Sometimes Tawan might do one. So sometimes, sometimes I might do one. Sometimes we'll throw out a special one. Brittany sometimes will fill in and do a special one. So anytime we decide that we're going to do a special one, you're going to find out through Telegram. The links are normally posted 24 hours before the, the uh, Zoom. So you have enough time to send it out to anyone that you uh you desire to send it out to. Now, don't start inviting 24 hours before the Zoom, but you will let them know in 24 hours before on Wednesday, I will send me on Tuesday, I will send you the Zoom for Wednesday. So always invite days before the Zoom, but you won't be able to send it until 24 hours after. Also, that's where you're going to see all the boards. When I say you on the board, when you, when somebody say, where are you on the board? That's where you're going to see your name. You're going to see when you are on fire. You're going to see when you're on wind. You're going to see when you're on earth. And you will be excited when you see you are in water. Once you're in water, you know that's your time to be gifted. You're going to submit a picture and how you want to receive your gift, either through Venmo, Walmart to Walmart, Zelle, or Cash. You will let us know how you want to receive it. That will go on your flyer so that all of your fires will know how to gift you. So that's why Telegram is so important because that is where all of the information is kept, right? So guys, remember, once you make your commitment, you making a commitment to give a gift and you only give one time. You don't have to give anything tonight. No gift is due tonight. So if you're thinking, well, I won't be able to go to the bank until tomorrow, you're good. You might not even have to gift tomorrow. It depends when your board closes. Remember, a board is considered closed when all eight fires fills that board. That's when your gift is due. So guys, these are some special notes I'm going to go through really fast. Then I'm going to answer some questions. And guess what? We're done. So special notes. Do not deposit large amount of money in your bank. That was very important when we was meeting in person. But now that we're not meeting in person as much, and sometimes even if you're getting cash, it might be from one or two people. So it's not a big of a deal like it was back then. But we want you to be mindful of that. Fire spots can be shared. So guys, if you're saying, you know, I know that you gave me some other options as far as uh, how to come up with the 1400, but even after doing all of that, I still don't think I'm gonna be able to come up with 1400. It's okay, share a spot with someone else. Get with a family, a sister, a cousin, a brother, get with someone else and say, you know what? The spot is 1400. I have 700, do you have 700? Together, you guys took a spot for 1400. So if you share the spot, you share the blessing. He's going to get or she's going to get 5500. You're going to get 5500. So you're going to share the spot and you're going to share the blessing. I have seen up to four people sharing one spot. So it's okay to share a spot. The fastest, the average turnaround time. I'm sorry, let's go back. This is not a gift. And it's not income, so it is not taxable. Guys, what we did for you, we shared the lifetime gift tax exemption that we got from the IRS to let you know that this is a gift. You can receive in a lifetime $11.5 million in your lifetime as a gift. So since it's a gift, there is certain tax bre uh, breakage that you don't have to, you don't have to file taxes on it as long as you fall in those guidelines. I am not a tax preparer. So I say, contact the person who does your taxes and make sure that you're falling in your right bracket. But this is not taxable because it is a gift. The average turnaround time is four to eight weeks. So guys, this is not a marathon, okay? There's a lot of time people get in and they want to get in the water and out the water. They want to get on the board and off the board. Remember, it takes four to eight weeks to get blessed. Some people have done it less time than that. Kudos for them. Some people have taken longer. So don't feel like you're a failure or it's not working. My board is not moving because it's taking you four or five weeks, okay? It's okay. Now, I will stress this. If you're 
trying to, if there's a goal, a, a certain goal that you're trying to reach at a certain time, and you're thinking, wow, $11,000 would get me to that goal, and I need to have it done within a week, this might not be for you at this time. Because we're not, we cannot tell you if you get on today, within seven days, you're going to get a financial blessing. We can't say you're going to get it in two weeks. I know people who have done that, but we cannot tell you that. So I don't want anyone to stress thinking, oh my goodness, I gave my 14 and I really need it today or I really need it tomorrow. So guys, don't put yourself in that type of situation. This is a four to eight week journey. Relax, enjoy, have fun, because when you're gifted, you're going to feel so great to receive all of your gifts. The fastest a board has ever closed is two to two to three days. And that's great to know. But sometimes I hate it's in there because it gives people the thought that I can do that too. And some people can. But if you can't, do not start comparing yourself to someone else. Go, you take your journey. Don't try to take someone else's journey. No one in the group has lost any money. And guys, that's very important to know. Because I remember when I first uh, got on one of these Zooms, the first thing I wanted to know, will my family and friends lose money? Because when someone say yes to you, they don't, they're not trusting me because they don't know me. They trust you. They go on by your word, right? That's why we say bring people who you trust and love because they trust you. Well, you don't want to bring somebody to something and they not, and they're, they lose their money because they trust you. Our word is our bond. I know mine is, and I didn't want to bring anyone to anything that was going to cause them to look at me differently. So when I realized no one has lost any money, I felt good about telling my family and friends about this. So don't, uh, you don't have to provide your gift today. Just claim your spot. Again, guys, nothing is due today. All you have to do is claim your spot. If this does not work at this time, because there's sometimes, like I said, people get in and they give their 14 and their car break down or they give their 14 and something happened and they need the $1,400 back. So the question is, can I get my gift back once I have given it? No one loses any money. So what happens in that situation? The person who invited you is going to help replace your spot. So they're constantly inviting people just like you join, somebody else is going to join. The difference is if you already given a gift, that means that you are now on the win position. You're no longer a fire. This is the only time someone will come in and not start on fire. They will give you the gift and take your position. So they're starting on win. So you're, you did not lose anything. You just was gifted by the next person giving you your gift back. And then they took your spot. And later, if you want to come back, you can. So, and with that, let me go back because this is a very important part that I kind of overlooked. Well, we're going to say it on the other slide anyway. But with that being said, we do not have an estimated time how long it would take for you to get your gift. It can take a day, a week. It can take a month. We do not have a time. It depends on the person who invited you, how many people they have coming in. And sometimes it don't even have to be the person invited you. It can be someone else because a win spot is a very prominent spot. So it's not difficult to find someone who wants to take that spot. So show up and participate. Invite your friends who is like-minded and you trust 100%. Again, remember I told you, I'm gonna tell you why I say people that you trust 100%. Remember the thing with social media. And I said, we do not do social media. If you're caught doing social media, you will be kicked out of the group. Depending on the situation, you can that person can cause the person who invited them to have a problem so you want to make sure you know the people you don't have i'm not saying know them to the point where you know everything about them but you have to make sure the people that you're inviting is not going to put our community in jeopardy this is for me and it is for you so do not let someone come in and destroy that so make sure you're inviting people that you truly trust also when somebody make a commitment to give a gift we go, we're going by their word. So we say nothing is due tonight because we don't want you to have to feel like you got a gift tonight. But if you say you're, you're in, we trust that you're going to give your gift when it's time. 
So if you're inviting people who you don't trust, you asking us to trust somebody that you don't trust. So invite people who you know is a man or a woman of their word. And when they say they're going to give a gift, they give it. Because trust me, when it's your turn to be gifted, you don't want people to bring anybody on the board and you're not getting your gifts. So treat people according to how you want to be treated. So make sure we're inviting the right people. The more you invite, the faster your circle will move. Don't prejudge some who you think will, won't, some who you think won't will. So everyone is different. You cannot say what one person by looking that at them that they need this and one person who don't need it. Because the ones you think don't need it is probably living paycheck to paycheck. So invite everyone, let them say no, give them the chance to see it for themselves. Do not take the blessing from someone, let them make their own decision. The entire movement is solely about helping each other financially and to see our family and friends blessed it. So guys, keep your spot, I mean, to get your spot, all you have to do is make a commitment. Nothing is due right now. Keep your eyes on the prize. Stay focused, guys. Write down your why. Write down what, what it is that you want to do. Do you want to have a financial blessing for your family? Is there someone in your family who's struggling that you would love to bless? Is there some home improvements that you want to do? I know my girlfriend air conditioner went out and when she got blessed, she was able to get it fixed. You know, so is there someone who's going through some stuff right now and you know a financial blessing would help them? Those are the type of people you want to invite to these Zooms. If you want to do more traveling, uh, maybe somebody have debt. Maybe you have debt that you want to get out. Maybe you your car car is not uh, running right. You want to get another car, just have some car improvement. Whatever it is, keep your eye on the big picture. And that is what's going to keep you from going from fire, wind, earth, water, blessing. So guys, with that being said, I'm going to go over the frequent asked questions. If I don't answer your questions during this time, I'm going to go ahead and look in the chat and see if there's anything that I didn't answer. If I see any questions that is kind of uh, repetitive that I already answered, I might not answer those again, okay? For time's sake, because I am going a little bit over. So how long is the process? The process, guys, is uh, the, the process is four to eight weeks. Some have done it shorter, but if you're doing, if you're in your fourth, fifth week, don't think it is over. Just continue to invite and it will happen for you as well. What if I don't have two people? Guys, the most important thing about our community is bringing in other people, seeing other people being blessed. So a lot of times, if you don't think you have two people right now, you might want to consider not jumping on a board, okay? Your two people really don't have to get on the board until you on wind. But if you're going to do this, now is the time to start inviting your people. Let them see the presentation with you. Kind of get a feel for whether or not they want to do this, if they're going to say yes, if they're going to say no. The sooner you get your two people, the faster your board will move. So I'm not saying don't join if you don't have your two people right now, because there's two different types of people. There's someone who's saying, I can't get two people, and more than likely they can't because they already told themselves that they won't. Then there's someone who's saying, I don't have two people, but I can get to people. I can invite people to the Zoom and I know someone can use this blessing. Those are the people we're looking for because even if you don't have them with you right now, you know you can do it and you're willing to do it so you can get the $11,000 blessing. Those are the type of people that we want to join us because we all help each other. If this doesn't work, if this doesn't work, can I get my gift back? Yes, you can. We just discussed that. The person who invited you is going to help find someone to re-gift you taking your spot. How long would it take? That is that we don't know. Uh, it can take a day, it can take a week. It really just depends. Uh, but it will, someone will re-gift you your, your gift back. Who holds your gifts? I'm sure I can open it up, this up and everybody on this call should be able to answer that. Who holds your gifts? Everybody should be able to answer that. No one holds your gift. No one holds your gifts. I think I said about four or five times. Your gifts goes from your hand to the person in water. There's no in-between person. So if somebody's telling you, I'm going to hold your gift until it's time to gift, then they're telling you something that is not true. No one holds your money, your hand to the person who you're giving a gift to, or from your Zelle account to their Zelle account, from your Walmart to their Walmart. 
there's no in-between person. Why is the uh, gift amount $1,400? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, it was that amount when we all started. It's not broke, so why fix it? It's been working. 14 is going to give you $11,000 um, a gift back. So everyone is happy with that. So there was no need to change it. What are your commitments for the group? Your very first one you have already completed, and that is getting on a Zoom. No one can join a board without seeing a Zoom first because we want to make sure that everyone is hearing what you heard. If you put somebody on a board that have not been on a Zoom and you tell them, well, I hold your money until it's time to give it to the person in water, they're going to believe it. Why? Because they was not on a Zoom to hear that that is not what we do. That is the reason why we said one, is your, one of your commitments Everyone has to get on a Zoom before they can get on a board. Your other commitment is once you join a board and that board closed, you are committing to give a one-time gift to the person in water. Your other commitment is once you on win, you're going to fulfill two spots on that board, helping to close the board so that you are closer to the water position. Is this a scam? No, it is not. It is not a scam. A scam is when you lose money. And that is the reason why we make it very clear in the beginning, no one has lost any money. If you need to get out of the group for whatever reason, the person who invited you is going to work with you to help get someone to re-gift you your initial gift, taking your spot. So no one has lost any money. Therefore, it is not a scam. Is this illegal? No, it is not illegal. All we're doing is gifting each other. I am voluntarily giving someone a gift. That is all I'm doing. I have done that at birthday parties. I have voluntarily went to a wedding and gave a gift. I have given wet me. I have given gifts at graduations, cash gifts. I have never had to tell anyone that I gave a gift in that envelope that I put in that little box, right? So this is not illegal. There's nothing illegal about receiving a gift. If you're still doubtful, go ahead and look at the IRS and look at the tax uh, gift exemption and you will see it is not illegal to receive a gift. What if someone doesn't gift the water? That is an easy fix. No board closed until all eight... Uh, people in water on water has gifted the person I me mean, all eight fires has gifted the person in water if one other person do not give a gift that person is simply replaced because no board is going to close and leaving the person in water not receiving all of their gifts so that is, that has not been a problem in um, with our boards so guys I am now going to go ahead and open it up and see if I have any questions. Someone say, can I hold more than one spot in a circle? Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can. To that question, uh, if there's an open spot under someone else, can I feel them personally or with my people? And the other question they asks, is there an age limit? No, there's no age limit. I've seen people put their grandchildren on here, uh, six, seven years old, you know. But remember, if you put someone who's underage on here, you are responsible for filling their, their commitment. And guys, I'm going to kind of go a little bit fast now because I my light on my uh, computer just came on because my power is out and I didn't charge my phone. So I don't want my computer to shut off. If it do, that is the reason why. Um, when people share, is it up to them to divide their money? Yes, if you're going to share a spot with someone, make sure you do it with someone you trust because only one person uh, um, gifting method is on there. So if that person doing Walmart to Walmart, then and they getting all the money, you need to be on there with somebody who you know you can trust. Um, like I've done with my daughter. Of course, I trust my daughter. So the money, I think, went in her, cat, in her account. She gave me my half. No problem. Um, um, once gifted, can you join again? Yes, you can. You can join again. Just remember your, your commitment starts over. You got to bring in, you have to uh, cover two spots on the board again, and you have to give $1,400 again, but yes, you can join again. Somebody said, what do I do to join? You just did it. Just say you in all. Oh, that's all we need to know. Um, 
Why isn't there an owner? Because we're all volunteering to give a gift. There is no one who is in charge. There's no boss. This is not a job. You're not going to get a 1099. You're not going to get a W-2. So you're volunteering to give a gift on your own, on your own. No one is forcing you to do it. And it's not, it's not mandatory. All right, Yvonne, Yvonne beat me to it. She said, I'm in, Robin. You can stop talking, girl. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Somebody said awesome presentation. Somebody else said, I'm in. You know what? They're jumping the gun. I think they want me to shut up. Okay, guys. So with that being said, before my computer shuts down on me. Yes, you only gifted one time to $1,400. Before my computer shuts down on me, guys, for all of my sparks who are in, Paula is in, Kayla is in. Come on, guys. They're all jumping in. Betty is in. Denise is in. Kevin is in. Antro is in. Nisha's in. Brandon is in. Uh, Jacilla is in. I think that I'm sorry if I pronounced your wrong, name wrong. Greg is in. Patricia is in. Somebody with an iPhone. You never did put your phone number in. I'm a. I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna let you know. I told you put your number in. I can't even call you out. But guys, they're coming in. They're coming in. Monique is in. Carl is in. Uh oh. L AJ is in. Okay. Thank you, AJ. Cheryl said AJ is in. All right. Craig is in. Aaron N is in. Okay, guys, they're coming in. I think so far I've counted at least 30 people who say they're in. And you know what that means for me? I'm going to have a long night tonight because now these boards is about to go crazy. Put this person in a fire spot. That is what is about to happen tonight. And I am excited. I don't mind long nights when I know people are joining. So all of my friends and family that is in the Money Team Elite, you guys know what time it is. You know what we do at this point. We go ahead and say congratulations to all of the people who is joining us tonight. So guys, go ahead and unmute yourself and congratulate all of our new people. Congratulations. Congrats, everybody. Congratulations. Welcome. Congratulations. All right, guys. Somebody said, "Come yeah, get the money." See, see, I just, I just told you. Guys. Congratulations! Let's get that money. So, guys, see, that's that's my family. It's like you know, when you have a family, you just love them. You just, you can't, you can't do nothing but love them. That's all. So that's all I can do is love them all. So, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for being on. Normally, I do an after call to talk about what to do now that you're in fire. But, guys, my computer is about to shut down on me and I don't want that to happen so we're going to skip that this time but congratulations to everyone that is in everyone else thank you for getting on the call I love you all everyone have a safe and productive day invite your people now that they're on fire go ahead and get them in telegram get them on a board everyone have a fantastic week and be blessed and safe and thank you for spending this evening with me